Yeah, look, all the, the top clubs in Europe will be wanting a, a slice of Harry Kane. They they obviously sit up and take notice when a player of his quality, a goal scorer of his quality, um, co- comes into the last year of his contract, and that's exactly what will happen come this summer. He will have one more year on his Tottenham contract, still no sign of a, any sort of extension. A, a lot of that may depend on what happens with top four, and, and obviously one of the clubs showing the strongest interest in him, Manchester United, could well finish in that top four. They are one of Tottenham's uh, top four rivals uh, and if that happens again Manchester United expected to go strong to try and get him uh, this summer the, the next question is what will Daniel Levy do and what will his response be because we know it's it's quite clear that in an ideal world Harry Kane would like to stay at Tottenham and win trophies with Tottenham and if he senses that's not possible he would like to and get those individual accolades of goal uh, breaking Alan Shearer's uh, goal-scoring record in the Premier League. So uh, Manchester United might be best suited uh, to that if Tottenham miss out on the Champions League. So, yeah, it's it's no surprise to hear of the likes of PSG and Bayern Munich showing that interest as well. But I think in an ideal world, although Daniel Levy, if he has to sell Harry Kane, would like to sell abroad, uh, the player himself would would like to, to stay in the Premier League ideally.